The Israeli military on Thursday said that its troops continued limited, localized, and targeted operational activity in southern Lebanon. It released video said to show troops in action in southern Lebanon and footage showing the destruction of what it described as militant infrastructure. The Israel-Hamas war began after Palestinian militants stormed into Israel on October 7, 2023, killing some 1,200 people, mostly civilians, and abducting 250 others. Lebanon's Hezbollah group began firing into Israel on October 8, 2023, in solidarity with Hamas in the Gaza Strip. Since then, more than 3,200 people have been killed in Lebanon and more than 14,200 wounded, the country's health ministry reported. In Israel, 76 people have been killed, including 31 soldiers. The Israeli military on Wednesday struck several sites in Beirut's southern suburbs, an area known as Dahia, after issuing evacuation warnings. It said the strikes were targeting Hezbollah facilities and interests. There were no immediate reports of casualties. Also on Wednesday, an Israeli airstrike on an apartment building in the town of Aramoun, just south of Beirut, killed at least six people and wounded 15 others Wednesday, Lebanon's health ministry said in a statement. The state-run national news agency reported that there were children missing after the strike and, it is not known whether they are under the rubble or were transferred to a hospital in the area. There was no warning issued before the strike, and it was not clear what the target was. There was no immediate statement from the Israeli military. Israeli forces and the Lebanese militant group Hezbollah have been clashing since October 8, 2023, when Hezbollah began launching rockets across the border in support of its ally, Hamas, in Gaza. The conflict escalated beginning in mid-September. Israel has launched a widespread aerial bombardment of Lebanon and a ground invasion that it said is intended to push Hezbollah back from the border. In the temporarily occupied Sevastopol, a car with a Russian occupier was blown up. As it turned out, it was the captain of the Russian Black Sea Fleet Valery Trankovsky. He died at the scene. This was reported by Russian media and local telegram channels. A video from the scene was also shown online. It is noted that the explosion in his car killed the chief of staff of the 41st Brigade of Missile Ships and Boats of the Black Sea Fleet, Captain 1st Rank Valery Trankovsky. He was 47 years old and, in particular, he participated in the invasion of Ukraine. The media reports that the ships of this unit carry out missile strikes with caliber and Malakit missiles. It is reported that the explosion and fire of the car occurred on Taresa Shevchenko Street. An explosive device was detonated in the vehicle. 
The liquidation in Sevastopol of the captain of the first rank of Trankovsky a successful special operation of the SBU, reported sources in the security service. According to sources in the special services, as a result of the explosion, his legs were torn off and he died from blood loss. Trankovsky is a war criminal who ordered the launch of cruise missiles from the waters of the Black Sea against civilian objects in Ukraine. In particular, he bombarded Vinitsia with caliber missiles in July 2022. Then 29 civilians died. In addition, he is involved in shelling of Odessa and other cities, as a result of which civilians were also killed. It is known that the occupier's legs were first torn off by the explosion. Eyewitnesses pulled him out of the car, but he died from his injuries. Сейчас зальет сумку. Ну что, 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 что